this particular quarry that we're digging at. This was discovered two years ago by a paleontologist from the University of Bath in England. He ended up finding this site when we were out prospecting one day. He found some bits of ceratopsian spilling down the hill. So we followed that up, we figured out where they were coming out, we dug in and we started to find more and more bones. So uh, that's often how it goes when we find new sites. But the reason why we're working in this area at all, in the almond formation, is because in the 1930s, there was a famous paleontologist named Barnum Brown. He's the same guy who discovered T-Rex. He was working here in 1938, out prospecting, looking for dinosaurs. He ended up coming here and finding a bunch of dinosaurs, and he never published on any of them. So far, the dinosaur roster for the almond formation, still zero. <laughs> um, there are no named dinosaurs from this formation. So every dinosaur that we find here is new just based on the particular age of these rocks and their location, we, you know, have reasonable expectations that every single dinosaur that we find here will be something that's never been found before, a new species. Never been named before, never described. <laughs>